welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Pioneer. Today we're looking at Mono Green Ramp. Mono Green Ramp is a ramp deck that uses 8 copies of 1 Mono Dorks alongside other ramp spells to play big haymakers like Cavalier of Thorns and Karn the Great Creator. The deck is looking to go way over the top with a superior mana advantage, often using Nykthos or Nyssa, and amass an unassailable board state or single unbeatable bomb. The exact deck list is somewhat in flux and there have been attempts to create radically different versions of it. This guide will focus on the most common lists and their similarities. Elvish Mystic and Llanowar Elves are the deck's turn 1 plays that help ramp into the bigger threats early, especially Kiora and Old Growth Troll, although additional ramp like Sylvan Karyatid and Wolf Willow Haven are also played. Kiora untaps permanence, which means it's always a ramp card and is especially good with Nykthos, Wolf Willow Haven, and Nyssa. It also draws extra cards from the deck's big creatures. Old Growth Troll is a big beater that can potentially be played on turn 2. In this deck, it isn't much of a threat, but has a number of other uses. It's a huge roadblock for aggro decks, draws extra cards with Kiora, and provides 3 green pips for Nykthos. If it's killed, it returns as an enchantment that provides more ramp and can be recycled into another 4-4. Cavalier of Thorns is another huge roadblock for opposing creature decks that also ramps, with Reach being especially important in the Phoenix Heavy meta. Like Troll, it also nets resources if killed. Karn is the deck's best win con, retrieving important hate pieces from the sideboard or big bombs. Godfaro's statue is an amazing tax effect, especially if ramped in too quickly. Other notable bomby artifacts include the Immortal Sun, Sky Sovereign, and the Great Henge. Storm the Festival is a collected company-esque spell that puts two spells worth 5 mana or less each onto the battlefield, which in this deck is likely any threat in the deck. It can also be flashback for 10 mana, which is quite doable in long games. Oath of Nyssa selects from among three cards and can choose almost anything with the big exception being Storm the Festival. Other threats that may be played are Nyssa who shakes the world, which provides more ramp and spits out additional threats in the form of lands, and Pelucranos, which is a large threat that can eat small creatures. Lair of the Hydra is a land that can become a large creature itself. Finally, Nykthos can provide a huge mana advantage depending on how many green pips you have. It's mostly used in the late game but can potentially generate an early advantage with cards like Old Growth Troll. Alternative builds focus on being a pure ramp deck, cutting cards like the 1 mana elves and old growth troll for cultivate style effects and big bombs like the Eldrazi titans. The sideboard contains a mix of different effects including hate pieces, bombs, and removal with most cards being artifacts retrievable by Karn. To go through them, Graftigger's Cage, Unlicensed Hearse, and Tormod's Crypt are the anti-graveyard cards for Phoenix and Greasefang. Weathered Runestone does the same as Cage but also shuts off Greasefang where Cage doesn't. Damping Sphere stops Phoenix and Lotus Field. Sky Sovereign as both threat and removal. Meteor Golem is also more flexible removal. Godpharaoh's Statue as a tax effect that slowly eats the opponent's life. The Immortal Sun as a resource advantage engine that stops enemy planeswalkers. It also stops your own walkers, including Karn himself, but the resources it generates should be worth it. Treasure Vault if you need another land with Karn. Pithing Needle as a general purpose answer to various cards, including enemy planeswalkers. Voracious Hydra as creature-based removal. And finally, Pestilent Cauldron can be retrieved with Karn and then its back half cast for value. It's also part of an infinite combo. For the combo, you'll need 2 Kioras, 2 Karns, a way to generate black mana, and enough green pips to generate 14 mana with Nykthos. Because Restorative Burst exiles itself, you can retrieve it with Karn since its front half is an artifact. Using a combination of Kioras and Karns, you can untap Nykthos for mana, retrieve Cauldron with Karn, then play a new Kiora and Karn, Legend ruling the previous two and fetching them back with Burst as long as you have 14 mana from Nykthos to cast everything. This will gain you and your opponent infinite life. Then, as long as you can make one black mana with something like Sylvan Karyatid or Treasure Vault, you can cast Pestilent Cauldron on its front half and activate its second ability, milling your opponent for infinite cards. Having the resources for the combo is a lot to ask, but it is a way to win long games when the board is stalled. Alternatively, in lieu of a second copy of each walker legend ruling them out, you can use Heart of Kirin to crew sacrifice them. Mono Green Ramp's primary weaknesses are being run over by faster aggro or combo decks, especially with cheap removal to kill the elves, and running out of gas since many of the cards in the deck produce mana but don't actually do anything with it. It can also be susceptible to creatures with evasion if it doesn't draw cavalier or other reach creatures. Tips and Tricks Against Phoenix, you should often activate Tormod's Crypt immediately to deprive them of fuel for their delve spells rather than waiting around for Phoenixes to be recast. Karn can retrieve artifacts from exile, not just your sideboard. You can use Tormod's Crypt and Hearse to eat artifacts that have died and recast them. 
Karn can transform big artifacts into giant beaters, notably Godfaro's statue, Immortal Sun, and Great Henge. Karn can crew vehicles like Sky Sovereign by animating them. The enchantment version of Old Growth Troll still adds three green pips for Nykthos. If you animate Lair of the Hydra with Nyssa, you can animate it again with its own ability to stack the stats on top of the plus one counters. You can attack and, since Nyssa gives it Vigilance, tap itself for mana mid-combat to stack the stats. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Mono Green Ramp. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date decklist, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time. Oh.